What, after all, is self-awareness? Self-awareness is being aware of one's inner self, emotions and feelings. Normally, we are not even aware that we have a spiritual body in addition to our physical body. While we do nourish our physical body and make efforts to make ourselves look good and beautiful by wearing good clothes, treating our skin, our looks and so on, we normally tend to neglect the inner self. We do not pay attention to what is happening within ourselves. In this way, we forget to manage the most precious resource that we have, which is actually our own inner self or the soul within. We need to manage this resource to be able to lead a peaceful and purposeful life. Why we remain unaware of this resource is because we have mostly been taught to focus on the outer or physical world alone. Nobody, nobody ever asks us to direct our attention within. The way to manage oneself better is by becoming self-aware. Normally, we are not aware of the accumulation of pain, trauma, sorrow, anger and other negative emotions within us. Now the question that arises is, how do we reduce accumulation of all such negative emotions? First, we have to be able to acknowledge that these negative emotions are indeed within us. The way to get rid of them or reduce their accumulation is by acknowledging their presence first. We can learn then to resolve them through awareness. Our mind can then become peaceful and happy. Why does self-awareness really matter? Being unaware is being ignorant. Too much ignorance of the self leads to excessive attachments to possessions and belongings. We have to pass through a process whereby we can come to the realization that we are essentially spiritual. We constantly seek wealth, position, status and so on. Things that never seem to really satisfy us. But what we really need is spiritual nourishment. Now how can we achieve self-awareness? That is the question. The process of self-awareness really starts with the body. The perception of body starts from the outer surface and goes beyond the body into the area of pure awareness, that is our soul. This soul or the spirit is the same in all beings. This spirit is peaceful, blissful, powerful and happy. The process of breathing can connect us to our inner self, our soul. The breath simply comes and goes. Even if we want to hold on to it, we cannot really do so. You will notice that we cannot retain any breath, however much we may try. Similarly, each thought comes and goes. So when we begin a process of observing our mind or our thoughts, we will find that negative sensations, thoughts and emotions will simply lose their hold over us. In other words, the field of our conscious awareness will gradually become free from extreme feelings and emotions. This also amounts to purifying our inner self, an essential condition of becoming aware of the soul. When we sit in contemplation and reflection, we gradually become devoid of any thoughts. We can then realize the spiritual aspect of the body. The key to self-awareness is by understanding the mind. In the next episode, we will talk about the mind, what is mind, how is it different from the brain, how does the mind govern, can we control the mind, can we train it to do certain things, and so on.